Hello, everybody. Welcome to the latest episode of the Iona Athletics Podcast, your source for all the latest surrounding Iona College Athletics. I'm your host, Mike Phillips. This week, we have a special homecoming episode. Instead of speaking to a coach or an athlete, we're going to be joined on the phone a bit by Tom Moran, the Senior Associate Athletic Director of Advancement and External Affairs, to discuss the renovations to the Heinz Athletic Center. The Heinz Athletic Center has been upgraded over the summer as a result of the Aragoni Challenge. And we have a special treat for you, podcast watchers. We have exclusive footage inside the brand new gym that'll be coming up during our interview with Tom Moran but before we get to that let's take a look at the week that was in Iona Athletics and we will start with Wednesday October 9th the men's soccer team defeated Manhattan at Mazella Field in overtime two to one in what was a fantastic game you had two great goals including this one that made the sports center top 10 let's take a look at this courtesy of ESPN a lot of teamwork here. Manhattan versus Iona College men's soccer. Free kick there. Oh. Into the box there. A little oh. back heel there. Whoa. Oh. Can I see that one more time? Because a lot to digest. There it is. Post and in. Iona wins it 2 1. Yep, that's Sports Center top 10 goal, courtesy of a toe tapping, game tying back heel from Joseph Cusano. And Mauro Bravo with the game winner in overtime. Bravo also picked up an assist on the game-tying goal, so Iona wins there. Women's soccer went on the road on Wednesday, played the Jaspers as well, lost 4-1. Amber Crispin scored Iona's only goal in that game, not for a lack of effort, though. Manhattan made 11 saves against 27 Iona shots, 27, so plenty of opportunities just could not cash in there. Let's go ahead to Saturday, October 12th. Women's soccer team picked up its first MAC win of the year over St. Peter's 1-0. Amber Crispin scores the only goal of the match, a penalty kick in the 67th minute. St. Peter's had just two shots in the game, so outstanding defense from the Iona Gales. The volleyball team back in the win column. They beat Manhattan in straight sets. Carla Johnson led the Gales with 12 kills. Freshman Julia Thomas had eight kills and five blocks. Men's soccer also at Mazella Field on Saturday. They played to a 0-0 draw against Fairfield. Tough match throughout but the Gales remain unbeaten in MAC play. The swimming and diving teams open their season at Holy Cross. The men's team trounced the Crusaders 166-88, placing first in all 14 race events, so awesome job there. The women's sock team placed in first in nine of the 14 events, but it was not enough. They fell by a score of 165-129. to Last but not least on Saturday, the men's water polo team dropped a match number 19, Princeton. Andrew Brzovic, Led the Gales with three goals. But we want to give a shout out to Water Pole head coach Brian Kelly for running the Chicago Marathon on Sunday. So, coaching one day, running the marathon the next. Great job from Coach Kelly. And last but not least, Sunday, October 6th, the Iona women's rowing team participated at the Head of Passaic racing event. The Gales finished in fifth place with a time of 1548.3. And that will do it for your week in review of Iona Athletics. Our interview with Tom Moran is up next after a sneak peek at the High End Athletic Center with the Iona Volleyball team. All right, that footage you just saw was the inside of the new Heinz Athletic Center, the new gym. Joining us today is someone who was very instrumental in the development of that gym. He's the Senior Associate Athletic Director of Advancement and External Affairs. Uh, Tom Moran is on the phone with us today. Tom, welcome, and how are you? Uh, I'm doing well, Mike. Glad to be here. How are you doing? I'm doing very good. I got to say, I've seen inside that gym. It looks very cool. I'm very excited to see how this all plays out going forward. It's uh, it's transformational for sure. Um, it's something that is going to take us um, from a a facility that um, you know had a, 
uh, several challenges to one of the uh, one of the best facilities in the in the conference, and uh, it's going to be transformational in, in so many ways uh, for men's and women's basketball, for volleyball, um, but really for all of our programs um, that utilize that space. And um, adding the four side seating uh, and the four additional scoreboards is going to be uh, an unbelievable upgrade for for guest experience coming to games and uh, really put us at, at the forefront of the MAC uh, in terms of being able to host events uh, and in games in that facility. So. Um, we are, are so appreciative of, of all those who made it possible and who've been part of the process of, of making it a reality. Yeah, the Heinz Center has been completely renovated as a result of the Aragoni Challenge. For those who have not been following over the course of the summer, what is the Aragoni Challenge and what's your role in that process? Yeah, so the Aragoni Challenge is, um, I actually take a, a step back from that, is uh, Mr. Ed Aragoni, who uh, is one of our, our most loyal uh, and passionate fans and supporters, um, made a, a very, very generous lead gift um, to make the uh, Heinz Center renovations uh, possible. And as part of that gift, he offered to match uh, up to half a million dollars of gifts um, that uh, our other supporters um, may give to to go towards the project. So uh, my role in that is is going out and, and seeking that support and um, really drumming up um, excitement ar- around that um, what that support can make possible. Uh, many people, uh, obviously, they, when you walk into the gym, you see the new facility. Um, you know, the first thing you see is is the new floor, the new bleachers, the scoreboards. But this project goes goes way beyond that. You know, it, it's, as part of the next phase of it, uh, it includes upgrades to locker rooms and concession areas and restrooms um, in the facility. And um, that, that's really where this this additional layer of support from from um, from those who take part in the Area Goni Challenge, um, you know, will help build towards that future for our student athletes. So, you know, if folks are interested in getting involved in that, we've already had a great response. Um, you know, I'm certainly the person to talk to to get involved in that effort. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously the centerpiece of the renovation is the new gym. And I feel like most attention is faced focused on the fact that we have seating around all four ends of the core as opposed to just left and right like we had before. But what are some other cool new features people can look forward to when they visit Heinz for the first time? Yeah, the um, first thing they'll see when they walk in is the new Aragoni uh, entryway and Hall of Fame, um, which has been named um, appropriately after Mr. Aragoni, who, who made so much of this possible. Um, that uh, we, we partnered with a company out of uh, Nashville called Advent uh, to help make that happen. Um, when you walk in, you see um, uh, an area that uh, pays homage to all of our sports. Uh, right when you walk in, there's areas to take photos um, with Iona Branding and brand new trophy case, interactive Hall of Fame, um, where you, it, it's actually touch screens now, which is really cool. Um, you can, much like several other schools, you can touch, uh, who have recently upgraded their facilities, you can touch two different touch screens. You touch on the, a Hall of Famer's name, brings up their bio and things of that nature. Um, so that's the first thing you'll see. That, that is an unbelievable piece that is completely going to transform the, the entrance um, into, the, uh, into the facility. And then you come in, and like you mentioned, there's, there's four sides of seating, which gives us a student section right behind the basket, um, which is going to change the experience for students as well as make it a little bit tougher, uh, hopefully, for visiting teams to come in here. And um, you know, certainly the seating on all four sides creates that bowl feel, which is great. And um, you know, the four new scoreboards uh, on the corners are, are going to be awesome in terms of being able to put up statistics and uh, sponsorship inventory and things of that nature. So really kind of looked at everything as part of this. But I think, you know, really I encourage people to, to really experience that, that entryway when they come in and um, all the different features that it has. Take photos with the trophy cases, put it on social media, um, really engage with that because there's so much there that we didn't have before and uh, tru- truly a um, – um, you know, kind of gives the gives the people the you know, coming in a, a journey through what Iona Athletics is before they get into the new facility. Um, all of which we hope that that they'll love and that the feedback so far has just been awesome. Yeah, and the upcoming weekend's homecoming includes the honorary ribbon cutting ceremony for the new Heinz Center. So, what's it going to mean to finally have the Aragoni Challenge come to fruition in that moment? Yeah, I, you know, I, I cannot wait. I've spoken with. Um, with Mr. Aragoni several times leading up to that event. And we are just so excited for Mr. A to see, um, you know, firsthand what, what his gift and then others who have um, participated in the Aragoni Challenge, for them to see what their gifts have made possible. Um, we're doing that uh, ribbon cutting ceremony right outside the gym. Um, you know, we, we'll have remarks from um, uh, Director of Athletics, Mac Lavosky, uh, Dr. Carey, our president, and a few others. Mr. Aragoni plans to say a few words. 
Um, we'll cut the ribbon, and then Mr. Aragoni will lead everyone into the gym um, for the first time symbolically right before our uh, our men's uh, maroon and gold uh, basketball scrimmage, which we do every year. So I think it's just going to be a, a, a historic moment for Iona for sure. Um, but for me, I'm just so much looking forward to Mr. Aragoni being able to see, um, you know, what he made possible. And also, you know, we have several guests coming who have, who have participated in that Aragoni Challenge, um, and they can see firsthand, um, you know, what, what they're helping to make possible. So it's going to be a historic day. I encourage people to attend if they can. It'll be 1030 in the morning um, on, the ni- on Saturday the 19th, um, immediately followed by uh, the men's maroon and gold scrimmage. We've got women's soccer playing Quinnipiac in a big match um, at home that day as well, followed by rugby playing uh, Notre Dame, which is, is sure to be an exciting exciting match where you know our, our team's top 20 in the country right now. So just an unbelievable day, and I encourage people to be part of it. Yeah, that does sound great. Before I let you go, I can't let you leave by asking about the upcoming basketball season. Maroon and gold scrimmage coming up on home and coming Saturday, but – if fans want to get tickets to games the 2019-2020 season for either men's, women's team, volleyball, yep. anything like that, so what's the best way to reach out and get seats for games in the new Heinz Center? Yeah, sure. The easiest way, we actually just signed a new ticket platform partner, um, University Tickets. We're really excited about what that's going to offer our fans in terms of ease of ticket purchase and scanning at the doors. Um, so, you know, Assistant AD for Marketing and Tickets, Pete Tallman, really handled that, so all the credit to him. But Folks can go right to icgills.com, click tickets. Um, you know that uh, that whole process has been has been revamped and, and upgraded. So I encourage folks to do that. Certainly can reach out directly to Pete or, or myself. Uh, Pete's in, in the ticket office number is 914-633-2491. Um, you know, so several different ways to get involved. Season ticket holders, I encourage folks to to. Um, you know, sign up for season tickets this year. We're we're offering uh, season ticket holders a T-shirt that all students will be able to wear in the student section on opening night. But we're giving season ticket holders the opportunity to get that as well. It's a four-peat shirt. Uh, it's got the MAC trophy on there with the four or the MAC ring on there um, with the four trophies we've uh, recently won. Really nice Adidas T-shirt. So something that folks can get uh, if they hop on board early and get those season tickets. But encourage folks to get out to the Heinz Center. There's uh, you know such such an exciting slate of games for both the men and the women um, with folks coming in from uh, from all over the country and obviously we have our, our exciting Mac schedule as well so it's going to be a great year a uh, historic year in so many in so many ways um, you know especially in the new facility so just so much looking forward to getting it off the ground and going yeah it's going to be a lot of fun Tom Moran Senior Associate Athletic Director of Advancement at External Affairs Tom thanks for all the time today I really appreciate it thanks Mike appreciate being with you take care and, and all the best all right, there you have it, folks. That was Tom Moran, the Senior Associate Athletic Director of Advancement and External Affairs here at Iona College. For the full interview with Tom Moran, check out our YouTube page, youtube.com slash IC Gales. All right, it is time to look ahead to the upcoming week in athletics, homecoming week. Very busy. Let's not waste any more time. Let's dive right into our upcoming schedule. We'll start with Wednesday, October 16th. A lot of action. Women's soccer will be home against Monmouth. That game will be at 3 at Mazzello Field. Men's soccer will be on the road in a MAC matchup at Canisius. Men's water polo will be taking on Wagner at 7 and the volleyball team will be taking on Ryder at the new Heinz Center at 7, their first game in the new Heinz Gym. Friday, October 18th is next up. The Iona golf team will be down in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania as part of the 2019 Lehigh Invitational. And the men's water polo team is on the road. They'll be at Penn State Barron in the 2019 PSB Invite. Let's go ahead to homecoming Saturday, October 19th. There's a lot to going on here. We will break it down into home versus away. So we will start with the away events. The golf team will be back at the Lehigh Invitational in Lehigh in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania, excuse me, for day two of that event. ICXC cross country, two different events. They'll be at pre nationals in Terre Haute, Indiana, and they'll also be sending teams to the Princeton Invitational. Men's water polo down at Penn State Barron. A pair of events there. First up, they'll be taking on Mercyhurst. They're also taking on Gannon, both in Erie, Pennsylvania. 
And the men's soccer team, a road matchup again. They will be at St. Peter's. Now let's get to the home action, which will be all the events happening on campus during homecoming Saturday. Swimming teams will be taking on St. Francis Brooklyn. As Tom Ray mentioned, the men's basketball maroon and gold scrimmage will be at 11 in the Heinz Athletic Center. The women's soccer team will be taking on Quinnipiac at noon at Mazella Field. Iona's rugby team, as Tom Rand also mentioned, hosting Notre Dame. That will be at 3 at Mazella Field. And if you want even more athletics events, stick around for the volleyball game against Maris at 5. That will also be in the Heinz Athletic Center. And if you want to check out any of the alumni events that Tom Rand mentioned earlier in this podcast, be sure to check out www.icgales.com for more information. And last but not least, Sunday, October 20th, volleyball home again. They'll be taking on Siena at Heinz at 5 o'clock. And that will do it for the upcoming week in Iona Athletics. For full dates, times, schedules, everything that you could possibly want to know about Iona Athletics, check out our website, www.icgales.com. You can also follow us on social media. Again, that handle across all major social media platforms is at IC Gales. And that will do it for a very, very busy episode of the Iona Athletics Podcast. New episodes come out at the beginning of every week. Until then, keep fighting the good fight, Gale Nation.